This is Chen from VMware Cloud Director Object Storage Extension Team. Here I will demo you a new feature of Release 1.5, virtual hosted style S3 API requests. Also, I will use OSE as short for Object Storage Extension. So first question, what is virtual hosted style S3 API? Amazon S3 document has very detailed explanation about it. You can find all these in Amazon document sites, and we won't cover them in details here. Go back to OSE. Before going to virtual hosted style API, let's check path style first. A path style request is quite straightforward. The host name of OSE server, the API v1 s3 in the path, at last, bucket name and object keys are appended. How about virtual hosted style requests? The schema, then bucket name instead of host name. After that, a mandatory S3 prefix before the host name, then the host name. If there is object key appended right after the host name without API v1 S3, as we seen in the path style request. A quick recap. For a virtual hosted style request, first, a leading bucket name. Second, prefix S3 before OAC host name. And remember, no API v1 S3 in the URL. With such pattern, we have several kinds of virtual hosted style requests. Starting with S3 prefix without bucket name, the request is for listing all the buckets. Of course, we can specify the bucket before the S3 prefix. It will list all the objects in bucket 1. If appending the object key, it will get the content of specified object. If we specify a different bucket name, here it is bucket 2, we noted that there could be quite a lot of domain names which should be routed to one OC server. How could this happen? In the topology, there is always a DNS server. The extra thing here is to config a special rule which map all these domain names to OSC IP address. Here is the demo environment. A client, a DNS server, and OSC instance are hosted on three different machines. This is the OSE extension. The S3 point is osc.vmware.com. The port is 57443. Also, a temporary S3 credential is created for demo use. In the client machine, I will use Postman as the REST API client. The OSC endpoint here. Also, credentials are filled in advance. First, we use path style to list buckets. Now that no bucket exists, I will create a new one, demo-bkt. Then create an object in this bucket and verify. Starting from here, I will try virtual hosted style requests. Add the mandatory S3 prefix, then the leading bucket name. As expected, it won't work because DNS should be configured to map the domain names with different bucket name to the OSE IP address. This is the DNS server. Let's configure it. Let's go to DNS server machine. The DNS server used for demo is DNS mask. Actually, there are a lot of DNS server products, and you can always configure them to fulfill the requirement. Then, edit the configuration file. There is a configuration property address and the description says it will force any host in the specified domain to the IP address. I will add a new mapping osc.vmware.com to the OSC IP address. Save the file and restart DNS mask. Now try to ping the domain name with osc.vmware.com or add a prefix. It works. Go back to the client machine. Send the request again, works. We can also try creating another bucket with virtual host style and create object in this new bucket. Verify works like a charm. Another new feature in OSE version 1.5 is bucket calls. We already know that virtual hosted style S3 API has bucket name in domain name. 
we can define calls rules for these domains. This is what bucket calls offers. Here is a quick example. Bucket demo dash bkt has a calls rule. It only accepts cross origin requests from dummy.com, and only get method is accepted. In the client machine, the get request from origin dummy.com works, but put request is rejected. And origin other than dummy.com is rejected either. And last, a quick tip if you encounter any issue about virtual hosted style requests. On the machine hosting OSE, open the default logs, search for keywords, S3 virtual host prefilter. You will find useful info about virtual hosted style request resolving. This is all for the introduction. You can find more details on the VMware site. Thank you for your time.